we have discussed a lot about the update operations now let's talk about delete how do you go and delete the data inside your apex okay delete is exactly same like how you have done your update you will be doing your delete like if i use the same code because we are pretty much familiar with this particular code let me go and use the same code here so let's say i have to delete the account if the account number is equals to null okay very simple what i'm going to do is instead of i mean i just have to type here delete okay that's it very simple so this particular variable which is a list variable having a reference to all the account record where account number is equal to null correct you are, what you are checking if the account number is equals to equals to null then you are initializing some number inside the account number and you are holding that variable inside this list variable get it so this list variable is having a reference to all the records that you that you have uh, updated the account number now instead of updating that variable what you're doing you're just deleting it so what it'll do whatever references that you have inside this variable right all the records will be deleted let's go and check it out so i'm going to execute this code i got this error so i'm going to quickly refresh this page so you have to refresh this page to get rid of that error okay i've i've done with the hard refresh then just go quickly here control e and uh, learn sql execute highlighted see now one of the data where account number was null will be deleted but unfortunately if you remember in the last video we actually updated both the account with some account number you get it so none of the record will be deleted you agreed or not See, I'm refreshing this record. This is still there. No delete. I'm refreshing this record. It is still there. No delete. Why? Because both the record has account number. Now I'm going to do like this. Okay. I'm going to check if the account number is 999. Then you delete it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to check here. If account dot number equals to equals to 999. If that is true, then delete it what's going to happen now if i click on execute highlighted this is going to go and simply delete the account where the account number is 999 let's go and test it out so this record where the account number was 999 if i refresh see the record has been deleted looks like a problem i mean that record has been deleted what about the other record if i refresh this record will still be there why because the account number was not 999 all right i'm just checking here if the account number is 999 then only you delete it very simple account uh i mean update and delete is very simple uh, i'm going to write one more method okay uh, let me just quickly write one more method and show you the delete operation in little more detail public static void learn delete operation and this method is expecting nothing as the in the parameters um i'm gonna just take the same variable okay to be delete see this record needs to be deleted so here i have taken just a list this list is empty so far okay how do you know if the list is empty how do you check if the list is empty or not so this is how you check if the list dot is empty this is the variable right is empty what is this any idea what is this is empty bracket this is basically a, a method list is a class we already discussed list is a class and if i go and show you this list class in salesforce the list class 
has a method called is empty control f i s e m p t y see is empty what it does it returns true if the list has zero elements you know elements are nothing but uh, boxes that we have discussed list is nothing but collection of few boxes and each box holds some data if there is no boxes in that list it will just return true and this is how you can identify whether a list is empty or not and please note this down okay every single time you use this list either to update delete whatever you should definitely check if the list is empty or not so you should put this line over here that if this variable is not empty by the way how do you check if it is not empty if it is empty yes we can check but how do you check if it is not empty let me just quickly align this shift and tab aligned okay see you have to put here shift and one which is semicolon this tells that this is not basically so you are checking if the list is not empty if the list is not empty if there is some value then only you go and delete whatever you have inside the list so this is a recommendation please use is empty please check the list is empty or not before you perform any delete or update operations that's a mandatory in fact any variable you just check if the variable holds some value or not how do you check if the value is variable is having data or not you just check if the variable is equal to is equal to null okay so you should use always the is empty method to check if the list is empty or not and then based on that you can take a call uh, you can you can use this delete or update operations now uh, i will go on with my example what i'll do is i'll just copy this put it here is equals to i'll write a small soql query you have to put this uh, third back right you put select id comma name from let's say account where name is equals to soql test okay and you can put multiple and conditions right and um let's say account number which is is account number yes make sure you copy the exact uh, variable name okay account number is equals to what is the account number one two three four okay put one two three four so this sql query will give me what in return this sql query will give me the account record in rec return where the name is equal to sql test and the account number is equal to one two three four simple so i'm gonna go and uh, print that same thing so put this copy this equals to print so if you are using any variable make sure always you print that variable just to make sure you have a needed data inside the variable right this is something i i have a habit of printing a variable most of the time so that when you debug when this is like very small code right but when you write a code in your actual project now the code will be like very big gradually the code will become like you know 100 line 200 line 500 lines of code right and in that big methods if you want to debug this only system dot debug will help you every variable that you take make sure you print it right this is necessary okay and whenever you print make sure you type in the variable name here and then you print it because if there are 100 system dot debug you'll be lost which system dot debug it is right so every time if this variable is holding or is not holding whatever it is it will show you the data let's go ahead and execute this code what will be the output if we execute this code this time the method is this this will simply try to fetch the record i have only one record where name is equal to sql test and the account number is one two three four correct this is the data account id is this name is this i'll just quickly copy this id okay this is the id we'll go back here and uh, i'll remove everything after this Control v here we go this is my record correct so now 
if I go and execute this code, what should happen? This would just print. What if I write delete? Delete, delete this particular variable. Very simple. What's going to happen now if I execute this code? By the way, I got an error. Let me see what is that error. The error says duplicate variable this invalid type date. Okay, sorry, I might have done a wrong spelling. Delete. Right? Now if I execute this code, simple, it will delete all the data that, that this particular variable holds. Fine. If I go back here and try to refresh this page, see the data has been deleted. Very simple. So this is how you go and delete a record with the help of Apex coding, right? Simple. Update and delete is very simple. Um, next video, we're going to talk about insert operations. Let's go ahead and see how do you insert the data with the help of Apex.